Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. Pucker up, because in today's video, we are talking the best lip balms of 2023. Did you know that most of the lip balms at the drugstore are garbage, packed full of irritating, sensitizing, and drying ingredients? That's why a lot of us get trapped to what we call like a lip balm cycle. You know, we apply lip balm to our dry lips. Our lips somehow become drier, so we apply more lip balm, which creates more dryness. This is actually a cycle that brands seem to be quite happy for us to be in. However, it doesn't have to be the case. If you're the sort of person that applies your lip balm every hour on the hour, stop. Switch to one of these amazing products, packed full of beneficial ingredients with a lot of the nasties taken out of them, and I promise you, your lips and your wallet will thank you. You'll be able to apply your product far less frequently, and you'll get some game-changing results too. Sit back, relax, let's start the very best lip balms. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what lip balms you swear by. Have you got any personal recommendations that you want to share with me? Sound off in the comments section below and let me know. I also want to apologise for where I'm going to the gym straight after this, so I know I'm not dressed how I normally would be, but it is so, so warm here in the UK, and honestly, my gym top is probably the coolest thing that I actually own, so I thought, let's just put it on and power through. Now, with all that out of the way, let's cut that waffle and tell straight on in. So when it comes to lip balms, some of the common ingredients to avoid are menthol, peppermint, any mint extracts, you might find things such as cinnamon, plumping ingredients, you know, all these things including like chilli powder can be in some of them, all these things can give that tingling, that cooling, that instant relief. In the long term, strip, dry and irritate, which is why you probably find if you use plumping lip balms quite frequently, your lips actually become far more chapped and dehydrated in the long run. You actually don't need any of these ingredients, and I would say if you switch to the products that I mentioned today and slowly taper off them, eventually you'll just be able to use your lip balm in the morning and evening as part of your skincare routine. That's what I now do. Now, you don't want to kind of just transition to that straight off. If you're someone that uses your lip balm 10, 20 times a day, well, just gradually reduce it down, and you'll naturally find you're needing to use it less because of the quality ingredients in these products. I've got a little something for everyone, and I think let's just delve straight on in. So first up, I want to give two recommendations for lip balms that also contain SPF. Lots of people like to have their SPF and lip balm all in one, and that's totally fine. Um, for me, I personally reach for a standard SPF, put it on my lip, and then I'll use a balm over the top of it. But it comes to personal preference. And if you want a lip balm with a good SPF in it, I would recommend this. This is the SOS Lip Replenishing Protecting Lip Balm SPF 30. This is a great little find. It's a British brand, um, easy to get your hands on here in the UK, less so internationally, and I've got an international recommendation next. But this is great, fairly unique, it's actually a gel. If you see that, how that goes on, you work it into the skin and it disappears without a trace. Leaves behind beautiful amount of hydration, but it's not greasy, it's not shiny, it doesn't have that chemically metallic -y taste that some SPF lip balms can. Just a really nice product. In here, you've got a great blend of different calming and soothing ingredients, some beautiful oils, some humectants, and those UV filters, which are going to keep our lips protected. Definitely gives a nice level of hydration that tends to last all day. Now, of course, though these are newer generation filters, you might still want to top up, reapply during the day, but but you can do that sort of like midday, once in the middle of your day. And this is super convenient, just throw in your purse and travel around with you. It's got a really tight cap lock too, so it won't leak. A great, great option. As you see, it's disappeared completely from my hand. Fully would recommend this, especially if you're in the market for a lip balm and an SPF all in one. Now, if you can't get your hands on this, don't worry, because actually, Paula's Choice Lip Balm SPF combo is also amazing. That's a relatively affordable price. I know the price of Paula's Choice has gone up a lot recently. This is actually quite affordable and one that I would definitely recommend if you're shopping from outside of the UK and you can't get your hands on that SOS lip balm. This is great. Again, none of those nasties. So you haven't got any of the heavy, you know, mint flavorings. You haven't got any heavy colorants in here, which is another thing that can irritate the lips. It's just focusing in on quality ingredients with some UVA protection too. I've linked both of these products, as I will all the ones mentioned in today's video, in the description box below if you wanted to check them out so you don't have to fiendishly like write down the name. All there for your convenience. 
So as I said earlier, I don't personally reach for an SPF lip balm in one. I prefer just a standard lip balm and there's lots to choose from, but I wanted to share with you my top four in this category. So um, whilst not all of these were, are the cheapest lip balms on the market, I would see it in terms of being like cost effective. If you're buying a $2 lip balm and you're reapplying it 10, 15, 20 times a day, you're going to get through that pretty quick. If you're buying a $10 lip balm and you're applying it twice a day, in the long run, actually that's going to cost you less than your cheaper lip balm. Not to mention the fact you're actually going to get some results rather than just stripping and drying your skin in the long term. So you guys know me, I'm drugstore to my car. In fact, I'm cheap. But I'm always happy to invest if I think it's working out and it's in the end paying off as being cheaper, which I think investing in a good lip balm genuinely is. There's something for everyone here. Um, so range of price points. And if you wait till the very last recommendation in the video, the cheapest of all of them which shows you can do quality lip balm on a budget. Now, my first mention is this little gem. This is the Allies of Skin Peptide and Ceramide Repair Lip Balm. And this actually only launched this week, but Allies of Skin very kindly sent this to me like two months before it launched so I could try it out. I have been loving this product. I think I raved about it on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. I mentioned it in my morning skincare routine. I'll find that video and link it there. Um, Ren mentioned it in there and how much I was loving it. Uh, yeah, It's a product that I fall in love with for a number of reasons. Ceramides, peptides, lots of barrier repairing ingredients and packed full of humectants and moisturisers. None of the uglies, the nasties in here, just pure quality formulation. It's also not got a lot of bulking agents either, which is great. So it's just every ingredient kind of has a purpose and packs a punch, which is why I think this is so, so special. And also the component's great. Like it's in a bullet, like a lipstick bullet form. And let me just, let me show you the snap. If you hear that, that's the mark of a good quality component. And yeah, uh, the packaging, 10 out of 10. Formulation, 10 out of 10 and I've been loving this. In terms of how it applies, again, it goes on, I'd say it goes in with a slight sheen but dries down matte and it feels so good. That's all you need, just one swipe. It's all you need, morning and night and you're done. Um, great as well, it's so hot here in the UK, like honestly, it is roasting. And unlike some other balms, it's not melting, it's not falling apart, it's holding its shape, you can still use it, which, you know, it's good, because we don't wanna have to keep our products in the fridge, we wanna throw them in our bag, take them with us. So this, yeah, they've thought about everything with this product. Now, I'm gonna be honest, it isn't the cheapest. Um, I actually did a little bit of a calculation earlier in the day before this video and thought, based on the price, would I repurchase it? This was kindly sent to me, would I repurchase it? And I think I would for a specific group of people. And that's people that have damaged, impaired barrier function on their lips. If you're in repair mode, this is probably gonna be the quickest product to repair your damaged lips. If you're looking to maintain what you've already achieved, maybe just get a little extra hydration, maybe some of the cheaper options might just be more accessible for you. But I think this holds a special place when it comes to repairing damaged lips, chapped lips. You know, if you've got sensitivity, irritation, all that going on, and you want a quick fix to deal with that, I think this is probably the best on the market. You could then always keep to this if you get a little hooked like I have, or you can move on to some of the other products if you've got budget in mind. But I think, yeah, for repairing the skin, this is pretty much unheard of in terms of its quality and the way that they formulated this with the skin barrier in mind. So this is probably the easiest product to wean yourself off constant overusing of the lip balm. And um, if you want a slightly cheaper option to that, I could totally recommend the Face Theory Bioactive Lip Balm. Um, this I tried two years ago. I got it in a combo, like the lip balm and the lip scrub duo um, as like a stocking filler Christmas present. And I loved it. It also lasts forever. Like one pot of this, I think lasted me like four or five months. It was, it was never ending. It kept coming with me everywhere I went. Never ending. That's a good thing. And this is 10 pounds. So this is a really affordable option when you think this is going to last you like four months versus constantly have to repurchase, um, you know, cheaper lip balms. So I love the fact that it's got some really great barrier supporting ingredients too. Maybe not as comprehensive as the Allies of Skin one, but it's less of a price. So, you know, there's always a trade-off there, but a really nice option. This does come in a metal um, and glass tub, which I personally don't mind keeping on the nightstand, but if you're somebody that likes it in a lipstick bullet, then obviously I think the Allies of Skin one is probably going to appeal more. This so it comes in a tub, you just put your finger in, you know. Obviously, some people worry about like bacterial contamination. You can always just wash your hands beforehand and you're absolutely fine. I've never had an issue with this. Um, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful product. Feels gorgeous on the skin, super elegant, really affordable when you think of how long it lasts. And yeah, I'm also gonna give this one like a ding, 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 10 out of 10. 
absolutely love it. And again, it's linked in the description box below. Now, I mentioned earlier that some of the worst ingredients in lip balms are plumping ones. However, some people love a good plumping action in their lip balm, and I hear you. There is probably just one plumping lip balm on the market that doesn't damage your skin. And it's a relative newcomer. This is the Inculist Tripeptide Plumping Lip Balm. I think this launched about two months ago, and people are going mad for it online, and with good reason. So this plumps the lips by going back to basics. The Inkless say the best way to achieve plumper lips is by you know, like flooding them with hydration. This is true. You know, if we damage and if we dry our lips with the wrong ingredients, then in the long term, our lips are gonna look a lot less plump and hydrated than otherwise. So this is just taking it back to basics with a really nice formula. Also around 10 pounds, $12, so a good price point. Um, and this contains multiple different peptides alongside some hyaluronic acid, some other humectants, some calming and soothing ingredients. And uh, they did a little study to go alongside this that said people felt that the lips were 40% plumper as a result of using this for two weeks. Now, I'm always skeptical about these um, studies that are funded by brands usually they're garbage. However, my friend bought this and honestly, she's been relentless. WhatsApp after WhatsApp about how amazing this product is over the last like two weeks that she's been using it and telling me, oh, you have to try it. Obviously the fear of missing out took over. So I ordered it, tried it a couple of times and was really impressed. Loads of beneficial ingredients, very few, uh, well, in fact, zero nasties in here. And whilst the Inculist aren't my favorite skincare brand ever, I'm always happy to sing the praises of a good product and this, definitely one of their best options. Now, finally, I said I'd come on to a cost-effective option. You know, I still think £10 is a good price point for a quality lip balm that's gonna give you like four months worth of use. But that isn't gonna be the budget that everyone can reach for, and I hear you. So when I created my own lip balm, which is this, the Mad About Skin Nourishing Lip Conditioner, um, I did so with budget in mind. £4.99 for a huge tub. It's the largest of all the recommendations today. It lasts you six months and it's got oils, it's got some beautiful waxes in here, it's got some calming and soothing ingredients, it's got some humectants, some moisturisers. It is just an absolutely wonderful, wonderful product. I know I'm biased, I created it, but I wanted to prove that you can do affordable quality. You don't have to overpay for good quality skincare and I hope that a lot of the drugstore lip balm brands listen up. You know, Nivea's out there, you know, chapstick, listen. Put, get rid of some of the bad ingredients, add some good ingredients, it won't cost you much more to formulate with and people will have a better experience with your product. I know why they don't do it, because brands would rather have you buying a lip balm twice a month and you know, the fact it dries your skin out just means you're gonna use more of it. It's a marketing ploy, that shouldn't be the case. I would rather someone just buy this once every six months because it works than have like twice monthly custom. That probably makes me a terrible businessman, but you know, it, I just think that's the ethical way forward. That's what people should be doing. Um, I absolutely love this, and in keeping with the other ones, it's still a balm, even though, as you can see, I am roasting hot here, and it's still a balm, still delivering, still working, and yeah, still in one piece. This is completely matte, so if you're the sort of person that wants a completely matte lip balm, this is it. And also it's multifunctional, so you can actually use it around the eyes if you've got a little dry. Um, you can use it to do a light layer for slugging. If you're using tretinoin and you want to protect like delicate areas, you can use this multifunctional balm. And just to reduce that price a little bit more with the cost of living, um, if you want 15% off, there's a discount code below to £4.99. It doesn't get cheaper than that. And like I say, proves that brands could be doing better and should be doing better. So let's not settle for less. Let's actually invest in quality skincare when it comes to our lips. They deserve the same love that the rest of our face does. Whether you choose someone with sunscreen, you go for the beautiful lip, like lipstick bullet option with allies of skin, you go for that face theory one, or you go for super budget option with my own lip balm, it doesn't matter. Just promise me that if you're someone that's using your lip balm many, many times a day, you'll swap to one of these products enhance your lip care routine, reap the benefits, and actually have to buy less product in the long run. Trust me, it's a switch that your skin, your lips, and your wallet will definitely approve of. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.